Good evening, creatives. This is attorney Angela Green. Just want to welcome you to another edition of PFM TV. Um, tonight, I just want to talk to you about contracts. Um, if you're in the entertainment industry, you know that it is made up of contract law and intellectual property. So you are always going to be evaluating contracts. Uh, entering in and getting out of contracts to run your business. So um, it's very important to be able to evaluate them and have just a basic understanding and knowledge of them. Now, I will admit that if a contract is over 10 pages, I would suggest that you hire an attorney to review that contract and just make sure that you understand exactly what you're getting into. But for those contracts that are 10 pages or less, um, you should be able to read through those and kind of figure some things out um, to make a determination as to whether or not you want to move forward uh, with that business relationship. And so there are five areas of any contract um, that I think that uh, you should be able to look at um, closely and making a decision pertaining to those five areas will uh, help you decide whether or not you want to move forward with the contract or not. So the first area is one, um, who is it that you're entering into the contract with? Um, you should have a pretty good idea of that individual, whether there's someone who is contracting for your services or whether you are contracting for their services. Uh, you wanna be sure that they can deliver on uh, whatever it is that they are saying that they can do for you. And um, you want to be sure that they are willing to pay um, if they are contracting for, you, for your services. Um, so you want to look at first the individual that you're entering into the contract with. Um, the second point that you want to look at is the term. Uh, how long is this contract? Uh, you should be able to figure out when you enter into the contract and when you are able to exit the contract. So the term is very important. Um, in the music industry, the term sometimes can be a gray area, which is surprising, but that's just kind of how it is. Um, say for a record label contract, uh, a lot of times that contract may say that the term is for one year. However, when you read further down in the contract, it will say that you give the label two options to extend the term um, for two additional terms. So when you look at that, that contract is actually three years, it's not two, okay? So you have to be able to read the contract and to figure out what is the term? How long am I going to be obligated in this contract? Um, so the third point that I think that you need to, uh, to consider is um, what are my obligations? What is it that I am obligated to do? Or what is it that this individual is obligated to do for me? So you should be able to figure out exactly what the obligations are so you can identify and be able to track and to make sure that you're actually getting what you're contracted for. So you should have a clear understanding of what the services are, what the goods are, either you're offering or that you're supposed to be getting. So that's the third point that you want to look at. The fourth point that you want to look at, and this is very important, how much are you going to get paid? How are you going to get paid? You have to be able to calculate what is going to go into your pocket at the end of the day. Um, if you have a management contract that you're entering into, and say you, you owe that manager 10 to 15% of the income that comes in. So you're able to calculate, okay, if I bring in $1,000, then I'm gonna to have to pay this manager between 100 and $200. That's between 10 and 20% of the income. So you need to be able to calculate that. And with record label contracts, a lot of times it's very difficult to figure that out because many times artists don't uh, also consider recoupment. Um, they don't think about the fact that every dollar that is paid out on their behalf ahead of time is recouped before they start calculating what's gonna go into their pocket. And so you need to be able to figure out exactly how are you going to get paid, how much you're going to get paid, or how much are you going to have to pay? So that's, that's number four. And then number five, which I think is probably one of the most important points is how can you get out? Um, for whatever reason, if the contract goes bad, you want to be able to get out. You want to see that escape clause in that contract 
so that you're able to cut your losses without having to go to court. Um, you want to be able to um, not have to spend any more on that contract than you already have spent. So how you can get out seeing that escape clause is very important. And if you don't see that escape clause in that contract, that's a red flag. You may need to talk to an attorney to help you negotiate something different, or you may just wanna go ahead and leave that contract on the table. So those are my five points, five areas that I think that you as an independent artist, you should be able to recognize and um, make a determination. Again, the first one, who you're entering into your contract with. Number two, uh, how, what is the term? How long is the contract? Number three, what are the obligations of the contract? You to the other person or the, that person to you. Number four, how are you going to get paid or how much do you have to pay? Being able to calculate that. And then number five, how can you get out? How can you cut your losses if for some foreseen reason the relationship has gone bad and it's time to go your separate ways? You want to be able to get out. So. I hope that information helps you as you move forward in your careers because you're going to have to evaluate contracts over and over again. That's what the music industry is all about. That's what entertainment is all about. It's contract law and entertainment law. And we do understand um, that sometimes you may not be able to hire an attorney to review that contract every single time, especially those small contracts that are 10 pages or less. So this is just a guide to kind of help you when you're making those determinations to decide whether you're gonna enter into that contract or not. I hope you found this information um, helpful to you. If so, I ask that you click the like button, that you share the information, let people know what we're doing at PFM TV here on YouTube. If you need someone to help you, some business consulting to kind of advise you along the way, be sure to reach out to us at our webpage, www.positionmenow.com. Until next time, good night.